All right, hi guys. Um, hopefully things are going well with the sub. Today what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be <clears throat> looking at different reactions and trying to decide if they're endothermic or exothermic when they react with water. Um, so I kind of set out lots of the different things that you'll need for this lab. Um, out front here, I'll show you how you're gonna use them and what steps you're gonna do. So your first step is to measure out the water that you're gonna be doing the reaction in. Um, so you just wanna get water just from the sink. You'll fill up a graduated cylinder until you get to 50 milliliters. Um, remember you want to be eye height or eye level with it. Um, so you kind of got to bend down, see if it's 50. If not, then add in a little bit more until you get to exactly 50. All right. So let me do that. All right. So that's looking good. So then you put that into your cup. So you're going to get a cup of styrofoam. You put your water in your cup first. Then you want to see what the temperature is to start. So I put your thermometer in while you do your other um, other tests. Um, someone might need to actually hold the thermometer so your cup doesn't tip over. You can kind of see if you can get it to balance or not. But let it sit in there so it can get the correct temperature of the water because it's going to kind of move until it gets to the right point. Um, so while that's sitting in there, then you want to get your um, mass of your solute, the thing you're going to dissolve in. Um, to do that, you get one of the little weigh boats, you put it on the scale. Remember to push the zero button so that it doesn't take the weight of the weigh boat. And then for each trial, you're going to be doing about one gram of your substance. Remember, you might need to add some on and then take some away until you get to one. Um, now, when you're doing this, it doesn't need to be exactly one. You just need to take whatever number you do have on your scale and write it on your lab report. So for example, right now it says 1.04. That's really close to one, so I'm just gonna leave it that way. So when I'm filling out my data table, on the point where it says the mass of the solute, it's the second column, you're gonna write what exactly it says on your scale. So it's okay if it's not exactly one, as long as it's close to one. Um, I would definitely make sure you're like one or a little bit over one, not under one. Um, so I would write 1.04 on my paper for this solute. Then what you're going to do is you're going to record your temperature also on your paper. So your starting temperature of your water is what you're going to record. Sorry, you can't see it. So where it says starting temperature of water, over here is what you're going to record what it says on your thermometer to start. Um, so I record that temperature on my paper. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your thermometer out. You're going to put um, your solute in to your water and then you're going to mix it so it dissolves. Um, probably makes it for about 10-ish seconds, doesn't need more than that. Um, some of them will dissolve faster than others, but you don't want to really do more than 10 seconds because the reaction is starting to happen right now and you want to measure the temperature of your water. So then you put your thermometer back in and then wait for it to kind of stop moving. I'd probably let it sit in there for maybe about a minute or so. Um, after about a minute though, I'd probably make sure the temperature, get the temperature. Um, cause right now what it's doing is it's changing the temperature of your water, either making it go up or down. Um, and so you'll just let it sit in here for about a minute. Then when, after it sits in there for about a minute, you'll record what number you got on your data table as the ending temperature. All right. When you're all done with that, you're going to do that for each trial. In between each trial, you want to make sure that like you rinse off your spoon, you rinse out your cup, you can reuse it over and over again, but just rinse it out since you're going to be doing different chemicals in each one. All right. And like I said, you should see a change in your water temperature. If not, maybe try to restart your thermometer. All right. You can click the buttons at the back to do that. You also want to try to do your temperature in Celsius. Um, so make sure you also make sure the thermometer is in Celsius. I reset them before I left, but you never know what's going to happen between now and then. Um, anyways, that's how you do the lab. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.